From 2024-25, the UEFA Champions League will become a 36-team competition and will adopt the Swiss model. But how will this work? First of all, there will be no more groups. All 36 teams will be placed into one big table. Each team will only play eight games in this league phase against eight different teams, four at home, four away. But how do you decide who you play against? Well, there will be four pots of nine teams each. These pots are entirely decided based on your UEFA ranking. The only exception is the Champions League winners from the previous year will be automatically placed into pot number one. Each team will then be drawn to play against two teams from each pot. Then, after eight games, the final league table is decided. The teams who finish from first to eighth automatically qualify for the round of 16. Those who finish from 9th to 24th then go into a playoff round to secure the final eight places in the round of 16. Teams that finish 25th to 36th will be eliminated from Europe altogether. There will be no drop downs into the Europa League. In the playoff round, the highest placed team will play the lowest team. Uh, there is no draw whatsoever. So 9th will play 24th, 10th will play 23rd, 11th, 22nd, and so on. And these games will be over two legs and they're going to determine who advances to the round of 16 to join the top eight teams. The round of 16 won't have a traditional open draw. Teams will effectively be seeded like a Grand Slam tennis tournament, but based on where they finished in the big table previously. Teams that finish first and second in the big table will be paired together and drawn on opposite sides of the bracket which means that, of course, they can't play each other until the final. In the round of 16, they will play the winner of one of the playoff round ties in a two-legged encounter. The bracket fills out so that teams that finished higher in the league phase should have a more favorable route. For instance, if you finish first or second in the league phase, you cannot face the teams who were placed third, fourth, fifth, or sixth until the semifinal. From this point, there are no more draws and you simply meet the teams who advances through your side of the bracket all the way until the final. The new Champions League format, are you excited already? It will be interesting. Yeah. And look, I think initial reaction is obviously going to be, ooh, what is the Swiss model? Why are they messing with it? So there's a reason why they're messing with it, so that they can generate more money, play more games and redistribute more yeah. money throughout the pyramid. And I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Um, the question is, can they change the format while introducing some positives? And I think they have, Jules. Yeah, I'm all for it. I mean, you often say to me, don't try to fix something that is not broken. Mm -hmm. And the something is not broken, but if you can improve it, and we will have to wait and see if this is an improvement. People might not like the, uh, the league table, if you want, with, with the, the eight games instead of a group of six, which is quite simple to understand, top two qualify, blah, 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 blah. I think this is quite exciting. And I think we should see good games, good football, hopefully, and that uh, even towards the end, you still have something to play for. Yeah, and I think the fact that the seeds carry over, that the, that the, the standings of 1 through 36 kind of carry over, they yeah. do matter. I think it means we're not going to have dead rubbers. We know, we've seen this before. We've seen teams that qualify after four games, after yeah. five games, and they play the scrubs. And sometimes it completely falsifies the group and it impacts other teams. That shouldn't be the case this time around. Um, so I think that's a positive. I like the head-to-head -head clashes between 9 and 24. Yeah, me too. You know, games that there's something at, at stake. I think that round's going to be exciting. And then obviously the knockouts will, will go forward as planned. Yeah, and I think even the, like, the sort of tennis tournament style where if you finish first and second in the league yes. table, you can't face each other until the final because the, the, you'll have your path toward the final and you know who you're going to play potentially. Which is a bit like old school European Cup, you know, when you had the draw at the beginning and you, all, you knew like who you could face along the way to the final. I, I like that instead of having a draw before the last 16 in the quarterfinals and then et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, no, I think it makes it, it makes it more exciting. You know, those draws, like in the end, it's somebody pulling things out. I don't, I, I don't think that's what makes yeah. it exciting. Um, we'll see how it, how it shapes out. I think the main concern is going to be for me is always how many meaningless games are there going to be yeah. and I don't think there's going to be that many meaningless games because it does matter it might not matter so much if you're number five or number seven but it does matter if you're number seven or you're number ten yeah um so 
So yeah, it'll be exciting. There will be more games played, and some people will talk about the strain on the players. But I think the Which reality- is a fair point. It is a fair point, although I think the reality is for the majority of these teams, it's going to be two more games. Um, for some, it's going to be four more games. Yeah. I think that's something you can probably live with. Mm -hmm.